بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the next possible issue for ejrp neighborship not establishing it can be like the passive passive interface command so probably if you remember in the route filtering sections we we already covered a little bit details about the passive interface so basically what passive interface will do is if i enable a passive interface it is not going to send any hello messages so the passive interface is going to disable sending out hello messages on that specific interface so in the production networks we generally use them on the lan interfaces where you don't want any kind of hello messages to be sent on the lan but at the same time you want to ensure that this particular subnet will be advertised so passive interface ensures that that interface will be advertised but it is it is going to disable the hello messages on that particular interface without uh, disturbing like without uh, without ensuring that the network is also advertised without sending any hellos so so in the production networks you generally enable passive on some of the interfaces like the interfaces connecting to the lan or maybe some interfaces connecting to service border where you don't want any hello messages to be sent but also the interface should be advertised but what if you enable the passive interface on a wrong maybe the wrong command let's say you are connecting s1 by 2 interface which connects to service border and you are supposed to enable the passive interface s1 by 2 and by mistake unknowingly you have enabled on one of our own wan interface so that might be the case so how to configure we know this pass interface command and if you do that then most likely the neighborship will not form because when you are not sending any hellos it means that there is no two way exchange of the hellos then that will uh, impact the neighbor relationships so what are the commands to verify now you can always use show run section command Uh, because normally you will see this configuration inside your routing configurations and even when you are trying to verify with show ip protocols at that point of time you will also see if there is any passive interfaces enabled then probably you will see here so you also need to confirm whether if the passive interface is enabled ensure that it is not listing any of your wan interfaces where you are supposed to form the neighbor relationship now again you also need to keep in mind that uh, before you come to a conclusion that maybe there is a wrong command or the interfaces are not being advertised properly you need to ensure that there is no there is no passive interface command enabled over there so if you just want to verify the behavior i can simply go on the router 1 and the router 2 where the neighbor relationship is already there between these two routers so what i'll do is i'll simply go and enable pass interface just to verify just to see the impact and you can see the neighbor is down because the interface is passive over there and if you verify the neighborship the neighborship is down now you can start troubleshooting from the beginning you can confirm that the interface is up and they are on the same subnet we need to make sure that Choi P A J R P interfaces. You can see the interface is not listed here. And if I confirm the configurations, in terms of configurations, I can see the interface is being advertised, but it is not listed in the E A J R P because of the passive interface configurations. Of course, the other reasons like authentication also can be the issue. Other things. So this clearly confirms that the passive interface is enabled. ensure that passive interface uh, is the actual interface is what you want but maybe by mistake here it's enable on my wan interface so i'm going to disable it and once i disable this you will see automatically the neighborship will will start establishing between the two routers